In the 2000s, it was almost inevitable that your favorite cartoon would have a video game based on it. That is, unless it was considered to be obscure, like My Life as a Teenage Robot. Of course, I understand that games can't be successful if their source material is considered to be obscure, and that's why no game studio came forward to make a video game based entirely on My Life as a Teenage Robot. However, Jenny has made some appearances in games, and that's what we'll be looking into today. Most of Jenny's gaming appearances were in Flash games. While these are MLATR branded, they aren't exactly what I'd call a video game, but we'll take a look at them anyways. The most popular Flash game amongst the community is probably Techno Tennis, where you face up against Brad and try to beat him in the most frustrating game of tennis ever. Since the game is old, the sound effects are kind of overbearing, and the game just comes down to luck in the end. You control everything with the mouse, which is weird to begin with, but the worst part is that the position of the ball can be hard to judge at times. After you get the hang of that, the game becomes pretty charming actually. It definitely feels like an early 2000s Nick.com game, and to a lot of people, that's really nostalgic. My Life as a Teenage Robot Hangman, as you would expect, is just Hangman, but you're trying to avoid hurting Jenny. Sure, this would be perfectly fine, but when you hover over a letter, it makes a headache inducing noise. <laughs> For some reason, we couldn't get the game to work either. That might be because we were using a SWF file instead of playing it in the browser. There was also a My Life as a Teenage Robot personality quiz. Yeah, kind of like those BuzzFeed personality quizzes. There isn't much gameplay in this one, you just answer some questions, and if you answer with A's, you get Jenny, B's for Brad, C's for Tuck, and D's for Sheldon. The questions are ripped directly from the first four episodes of the show, so if you're familiar with those episodes, you can clearly predict what you're going to get. I've seen images of a My Life as a Teenage Robot word search game too, but I couldn't find a working version anywhere. I see that it's available on cutegames.com, but it just won't work. It's probably just a generic word search game, so it's not that tragic of a loss to me. Unfortunately, this is the last My Life as a Teenage Robot game. There are still games which Jenny appears in though. Obviously, Jenny appeared as a playable character in Nicktoons Attack of the Toybots. This is only on the PlayStation 2, Wii, and DS versions though. She doesn't really have a major role in the storyline of the game, but it's still really cool to see her in a console game. On PC, you can play as Jenny in Nicktoons Baseball, and another console appearance was in Nicktoons Freeze Frame Frenzy where she's one of the many Nickelodeon characters you snap pictures of in the background. There's also a mobile fighting game we can play as Jenny called Super Bowl Universe. We covered this game in higher detail a few months ago, so the link is in the description. Jenny was also supposed to appear in SpongeBob, Graph Jet Blast, and there's a screenshot where you can see her as a playable racer. Unfortunately, the game was cancelled, and not much is really known about it. Aside from these games, Jenny made a few more appearances in Flash games such as Super Mini Puzzle Heroes and Dance Off Clash On. Unfortunately, Adobe has decided to stop developing on Flash, and they'll stop supporting the Flash player in 2020. Thankfully, you can download all of the Flash games we've mentioned fairly easily with the aid of a tutorial. As we've mentioned before, we couldn't get My Life as a Teenage Robot Hangman to work, but hopefully there is a working version of the game out there somewhere. But what about the future of Teenage Robot games? Well, it may seem far-fetched, but THQ, the people who made Attack of the Toybots, have announced their plans to remaster old games they've worked on in the past. In this announcement, My Life as a Teenage Robot was explicitly included with other Nickelodeon franchises they plan to work with. However, this announcement is over a year old, so I'll let you interpret however you like. In a quick update, on June 5th, 2019, they announced a remaster of Battle for Bikini Bottom, which will be released in 2020. So it's never been more likely for Jenny to return to the video game world. As for fan-made games, Teenage Robot fan, Steep Lord, has been working on an 8-bit platformer themed around My Life's a Teenage Robot. Fan projects like that are what keep our community alive, so please support them. There's a link to a video demonstration of the game in the description below. So. Did we miss any games? 
If you could make a Teenage Robot game, what would it be about? Tell us all about it in the comments below. I've been your narrator, Shane Zoltak. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.